Hello everyone, so welcome to another video of uh, the UGB 2024 solution. So, uh, yeah, so the exam was held yesterday and uh, currently it's now uh, 3.15 a.m. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm posting one after the other, the solution. So, in this video, I'll be posting the uh, solution to the fourth, uh, fourth uh, problem, which says that you have a uh, real valued function f r to r so and uh, which is differentiable at 0 and you are defining another function g from r to r as follows that is g of x is f of x sine 1 by x if x is not equals to 0 and uh, 0 if x is equals to 0 okay so now uh, suppose that g is also differentiable at 0 then prove that uh, you have to prove that g dash uh, 0 f dash 0 f of 0 g of 0 all are 0 now the main point was that already one part was proved like it was given so this part so g of 0 at 0 is already given to be 0 okay so there is nothing to prove there okay so uh, already that's done now we have to work on the rest so uh, first uh, what I'll do is I'll go with f of 0 so uh, I'll prove that with the help of contradiction so I'll take that I'll assume that f of 0 is not equals to 0 and then I'll show some contradiction okay so let's get started yeah so this is uh, problem 4 so we'll assume that f of 0 is not equals to 0 okay so then uh, since f is differentiable at 0 it's given so f is continuous at 0 so now if f is uh, uh, at 0 it's not 0 so I can say that like either it's positive at 0 or negative at 0 now this is uh, like I uh, I mean uh, I mean we learned some real analysis stuffs while going uh, through the uh, calculus part uh, of the uh, BMAT BSTAT syllabus so there we learn that suppose if we have a continuous function and uh, suppose at any point see it's continuous okay then at point C, if it is positive or negative, that, that means it's not equal to 0, then the sign, there exists a neighborhood around C where the uh, function keeps the same sign. So what I mean is that suppose at C, if the function is positive, then there will be a neighborhood around C, however small it is, there will be a neighborhood around C where the function will be, uh, I mean positive, okay, if, uh, for that um, neighborhood around C. So at every point in that neighborhood around C, the function will take positive values. Okay, so uh, then uh, I know that. Uh, so I'm I'm tr I'm going to use that result. So then I know that. Uh, <coughs> so that implies f of x is not equal to zero in some. Okay, I'm right. I I use the short form N B H D for neighborhood for some neighborhood uh, of zero. Okay, so now uh, this is what we are getting and now what does this imply? That is, we can now say that our function that is uh, sine uh, 1 by x, so which is nothing but g of x. So g of x is like when x is not equal to 0, it's g of x is uh, sine 1 by x into f of x. Now I'm dividing the f of x on this side. So I have uh, my assumption my hypothesis is saying that f of 0 is not equal to 0 okay and now uh, so in some neighborhood of uh, 0 like uh, if, of, if, if, if f of x is not 0 and that's why like uh, I mean in that neighborhood I can define my sign uh, of uh, like I can I can take the f of x below that is g of x okay so the function is defined then so uh, we will have only uh, we will have problem only when f of x is zero somewhere. So in that neighborhood, I am working with where f of x is not equal to zero. Okay, not uh, everywhere or anything. So uh, in that neighborhood where uh, f of x is not zero. So then uh, we know that like uh, this uh, g of x is differentiable at zero. f of x is also differentiable at zero. And so this function g of x by f of x this is also differentiable at zero okay but uh, so let's take this function as h of x so what do i mean by its differentiability at zero so it's like limit x tends to zero h of 
x minus h of 0 h of 0 means uh, f of 0 so it's not equal to 0 but g of 0 is 0 so minus 0 by x minus 0 which is by x so which is coming out to be basically limit x tends to 0 now uh, h of x is basically like sine 1 by x and below you have x now the question is does this limit exist B uh, but uh, see we know that like uh, h of x is differentiable at 0 okay so that implies that this limit should exist right but what we see is that sine 1 by x by x that we know that that limit doesn't exist okay so also like if do one doesn't know you can just transform it like limit uh, let's say that uh, let's uh, take 1 by x to be uh, y so y is tending towards infinity so we get y sine uh, y okay now you can see that y is tending towards infinity and uh, then sin y is, uh, can take any value between minus 1 to 1. So uh, we can easily prove that this limit does not exist. Okay. So uh, how do we exactly prove that sometimes the limit does not exist? That is we take two sequences. Uh, for this case we might take two sequences who are uh, which are um, diverging towards positive infinity for which we will show that y times sin y is converging to two different points. Okay. So two different uh, sequences con uh, diverging to infinity for that this uh, y sin y this is like converging to two different points okay. So if the limit would have existed then any sequence you take uh, always this y sin y so they would have converged to the same point. So that's the thing okay so I'm not going again through all that uh, it's just a waste of time. So uh, I hope you all know this and uh, so limit does not exist so we get a contradiction okay. So limit does not exist. So that means we have a contradiction. So contradiction to what our hypothesis that is f of uh, x is not equal to uh, f of 0 is not equal to 0. Okay. So this implies that f of 0 is equal to 0. So that means we are basically like uh, done with half of the problem f of 0 is 0 g of 0 is 0. And now we only have to show that g dash 0 is 0 and f dash 0 is 0. Okay. So now again what I'll use is that uh, suppose uh, now try to understand that uh, g dash 0. So let's work with g dash 0. Now it's given that uh, the function is g is differentiable at 0. So uh, uh, then what we can say is that like limit x tends to 0 g of x minus g of 0 which is 0 by x minus 0 so which is x so this limit should exist right since gx is differentiable at 0 so now that means this limit exists means what I take any sequence which is converging to 0 any sequence uh, from any side it's converging to 0 so for any sequence which converges to 0 this gx by x so that means what like uh, xn if I have a sequence xn which converges to 0 so then I know that g x n by xn so this sequence always should converge to the same value right so I mean because we are saying that this limit exists so I take any sequence doesn't matter any sequence which converges to 0 this sequence will always converge to the same point but let's to take two different sequences and see whether this happens or not okay so uh, let's let's take the first sequence as uh, let's say x uh, n is equals to 1 by 2 pi n now you can very well see that as n tends to infinity this sequence uh, converges to 0 now let's look at uh, where does this g x n by x n this goes okay as n tends to infinity. So then uh, g x n was uh, okay so uh, yes now you can very well see that like uh, these x n they are not equal to 0 right. So uh, but uh, I mean uh, when n tends to infinity this goes to 0 so x n goes to 0 as n tends to infinity okay now but xn individually they are not zero for any n so now uh, what I can do is like I know that gxn will be then so then I am looking for limit n tends to infinity 
जी एक्स एन सो जी एक्स एन विल बी एफ एक्स एन साइन वन बाई एक्स एन सो दैट मीन्स टू पाई एन एंड वॉट वॉज डिवाइडेड बाई ओ देर वॉज नथिंग डिवाइडेड बाई सो दिस इज दिस इज इट ओके सो ओके सो नाउ ओ सॉरी सॉरी वी आर वी आर वर्किंग विद दिस सो बाई एक्स एन इज देर सो डिवाइडेड बाई divided by xn okay so now uh, let's look at here that is this sin 2 pi n so it's just uh, like at those values it becomes zero so basically this will be equal to zero correct and now let's take another sequence so which is let's say xn is equals to 1 by uh, pi by 2 plus 2 pi n okay so now uh, and uh, what 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 is this basically like see we are saying that like this is g dash 0 and we are saying that this limit exists so this limit is equal to g dash 0 right so that means this g x n by x n that should converge always to the same value and that value is g g dash 0 that means i mean your function is differentiable and g dash zero is uh, i mean exists okay so from here what do we get then so we get that uh, so this implies that g dash zero is zero from this case okay now let's look at what about this case that is xn is equals to 1 by pi by 2 plus uh, 2 pi n so again this uh, again this sequence again don't confuse xn i'm using xn don't confuse it with the previous one okay again this is a different sequence uh yes so again xn goes to zero as n tends to infinity okay so then what we can again so let's again plug in there so what we get is g dash 0 is nothing but then limit n tends to infinity this uh, g of xn which is basically again uh, since uh, x this values xn are not equal to zero so that will be f of xn by x n we have so by x n and uh, multiplied by sin of 1 by x n which makes it to be pi by 2 plus 2 pi n okay so now what now we see that like try to understand that i mean what will happen to this uh, sin thing so that will that will become one and now so this will become limit n tends to infinity f of xn by xn okay and uh, so what do we get here is that like this is equals to nothing but so again try to understand that our function f f was given to be differentiable so what we know from there is limit x tends to 0 f of uh, x minus f of 0 we have already proved it to be 0 so i'm just uh, rubbing it out okay so minus 0 by x minus 0 so this limit exists now if i take so since this limit exists again if i take any sequence which converges to 0 f of x like let's take xn which converges to 0 so f of xn by xn that will also converge to 0 right so then from there we can say that like this uh, limit n tends to infinity f of xn by xn this is nothing but f dash 0 and so we get that f dash 0 is equals to g dash 0 and we already proved that uh, here g dash 0 is 0 okay and so we are done so i i mean those who don't know a little bit of sequence series and limit things like uh, why why am i talking about sequences and uh, this convergence thing so you should learn real analysis first and a little bit of real analysis which is required for bmat b stat and uh, then i mean you can again approach uh, this problem so uh, yeah so this is basically f dash Uh, f, f dash uh, zero, okay. So then we are like uh, done with uh, that is the other two parts. 
and i hope uh, you again uh, sir yes so this is proved okay so i hope you like the solution so again i hope you might have doubt uh, those who don't know real analysis but uh, you can comment down below i'll try my best to explain if you didn't understand anywhere and uh, if you like the solution please do put a like and share it among the other students who need uh, such uh, help uh, regarding the solutions and uh, that's it for this video so thanks for uh, watching see you in the next one